Bank's monetary policy was entirely status quo. As the central bank did not cut any rates, maintained growth and inflation forecast. The only change was a promise to keep liquidity adequate and to remove the structural liquidity deficit by buying more government bonds. Lata Venkatesh has the highlights of Raghuram Rajan's last monetary policy as governor. It was Raghuram Rajan's last monetary policy, also the last policy that will be framed by a governor all by himself. My hope is the next monetary policy statement will be by the proposed monetary policy committee. The committee to select outside members of the MPC has commenced the process. But otherwise it was an uneventful policy with Rajan keeping rates unchanged and even his inflation and growth forecasts. The big headline though was for the bond market. It was his promise of adequate liquidity. More generally, the new liquidity framework announced in the April policy is being implemented. We have reduced some of the structural liquidity deficit. However, the current surplus is partly because of seasonal factors and not because we have eliminated the structural deficit completely. To emphasize this point, we announced an open market purchase today. The RBI will proceed in a calibrated way towards the goal of eliminating the structural deficit. This statement helped bond prices end higher today. Rajan also promised he will announce a bunch of reforms for the corporate bond market on August 25th. On August 25th, we will unveil a new set of measures to improve the functioning of markets, especially the corporate bond markets. Some of these measures will build on the suggestions in the recent Khan committee report. The market widely believes he may allow corporate bonds to be accepted in the Reserve Bank's repo window, which will make them attractive. Yields on corporate bonds also eased after this announcement. Another worry which Rajan addressed was the lack of adequate transmission of rate cuts by the banks. We would be happier if there was more transmission. Uh, I do understand some of the difficulties the banks have. Uh, and, and my sense is that as this process of cleanup happens and as the economy recovers and credit demand also picks up, you will see uh, more possibility of transmission. To answer this, he said the way banks calculated their marginal cost lending rate or MCLR will soon be changed. At his final policy, there were inevitably questions about the criticism against him inflation of being an inflation hawk. Here's his defense. A larger share of the policy statement than usual was devoted to a discussion of liquidity and how we see it going forward. As we have reiterated in the past, we do not see the FCNRB repayments as disruptive. With the preparation we have made and good management, redemptions should go smoothly. More generally, the new liquidity framework announced in the April policy is being implemented. In Mumbai, with Ekta Batra, Lata Venkatesh. Uh,